And thanks for staying with us. We want to wind down the show tonight with the latest drama at the Shelby County Clerk's Office and the latest delay in opening a long awaited new office location on Riverdale Road near 385. Now the County Commission set a Halloween deadline for Wanda Halbert to open it. Clerk Wanda Halbert that came and went and it's still not open. This is ABC 24's exclusive video Wednesday when the Shelby County Mayor's Office let us inside. You see it appear to be fully furnished with things like desk chairs, computers and office equipment. Now, Halbert told ABC 24 opening this office by October 31st was never realistic due to getting specific computer services and security measures set up. But the county mayor's office said the office should have opened this week based on a plan agreed on by both parties. Now, Otis, <laughs> a lot of headlines this year with this office. What do you make of this latest headline? More back and forth within county government. Well, Brad, I think you just nailed it by calling it just more drama and unnecessary drama. Um, you know, um, the public has put up with uh, all of the back and forth uh, of the clerk's office for almost the entire year. Um, there was really no good reason why uh, we couldn't have gotten this office open on time, except for the feuding that's going on uh, between uh, Clerk Wanda Halbert and the mayor's office, uh, Mayor Lee Harris. Um, and I, I just don't know what to make of it other than just petty feuding. Uh, and, and the public is the one that's being disturbed by all of this. I really hope that uh, we can get our act together and somebody needs to make a New Year's resolution for 2023 that we won't hear any more drama out of the clerk's office. Now, Chris, I know some Republican members on the previous board before August tried some interactions. The new Democrats on the board, six new Democrats have, have applied some pressure, including some of those deadlines and some other things earlier this month. In your view, what else should or could be done by county commissioners to address these challenges? I think they should put as much pressure as possible. And I, I say this with with no joy, and, and it's not, certainly not a personal attack, but I, I think the time has come for, for, for the clerk to, to resign. Um, this has been going on for way too long. You, each of you have probably had a negative experience with a clerk's office, or you know somebody in your immediate family that has. Um, and I understand that it's complicated. I understand that maybe blame, some blame can be placed elsewhere. Um, but we've never encountered these problems before with previous clerks, as far as I understand. There's been ample opportunity to cure. Um, and this is not a partisan attack. This is criticisms that have been leveled by everyone across the board. It's time for new leadership in that office. And I anticipate that if uh, things don't change immediately, uh, the county commission will, will, will take certain actions and potentially the state legislature. Um, again, that's, it's, re it's regrettable that I have to say that, but someone needs to say it. It's unacceptable. It's been going on too long. There's been ample opportunity to cure and nothing's happened. And it's, it's an absolute disservice to the public. And Tawana, I know you've spoken pretty passionately about this issue on shows earlier this year. What do you make of this latest development? What would you like to see done differently? Well, I'm just going to be honest with you. Every time I hear clerk, I just want to turn off the TV because I want that drama to go away. And I think our clerk is having a difficult job communicating because if that was an unrealistic timeline, she should have presented the county commission with a pro uh, time management, uh, project management plan that outlines everything that needs to be done and the timeline that could be done. That's just business. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm a personal fan of the clerk, but I am tired of this drama. I am tired of this drama. And I will say this too. I hate to ask this question, but I'm going to. I am wondering as a former elected official, how this is impacted taxes because she has a role there too. And notice I was there at that yeah. county commission meeting yeah. last month where there were several things of improvements that the, of a lot of the new Democrats had kind of spearheaded, one of those being that October 31st. It was pretty clear. Mm -hmm. We interviewed her outside the chambers after that. She appeared to have no qualms with meeting those deadlines that day, but it came and went, and that Riverdale office still not, still not open. Absolutely, and the public is, again, is being disturbed here. Um, I just think that the community has totally lost any confidence and faith uh, in uh, Wanda Habit and her ability to lead. 
and I get no joy out of saying that either. Uh, but I agree with Chris that uh, th this is it's time for something, uh, a change to be made. I mean, I got a letter today uh, here at the station from a, a lady uh, who said that she uh, had to spend such a long time at a clerk's office. Uh, and once she got inside, there were like 15 uh, windows, uh, but only two people working there. And it was just a terrible situation for her. That's just emblematic of the problems here and something needs to change. All right, well, we're out of time today. Thanks for joining us. As always, a reminder, you can watch us three times every Sunday. This show will also air on our sister station, CW30 at 9.30 p.m. and again on ABC 24 at 11 p.m. I want to thank my great panel, political analyst Otis Sanford, as well as Chris Tudor and Tawan Stout-Mitchell. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your weekend as we head into Election Day on Tuesday. Go vote.